sometime today. Joining me now from Washington, Democratic Congressman John Yarmouth of Kentucky. Good morning to you, Representative Yarmouth. Thanks for joining us. Sure, good morning, Alex. Okay, so you're at the same camera where Luke was just moments ago, and he's giving us up to the minute, you know, changes and amendments and little tiny pieces of, of, of moving the needle either direction. Is that what's going on right now? What are you hearing? Well, you know, we're pretty much as much in the dark as most everybody, and that's one of the astounding things about this whole process is that uh, very few people know what's going on. This is a two- and three-person negotiation, and it makes it hard to kind of assess the possibility for any outcome. I, I do know that what's re been reported this morning, though, uh, causes a great deal of problems for the Democratic Caucus in the House. If, if there is a process established which could result in across-the-board cuts to Medicare, Medicaid, and Social Social Security uh, with no uh, cost, no shared sacrifice for millionaires, billionaires, and oil companies. It's going to be very, very difficult for Democrats to swallow. And quite frankly, the polls show 75% of the American people don't want that kind of a solution. So uh, that, that's going to make it tough if that's in fact what they're going to present to us. Okay. Given the fact that we don't yet have anything definitive in place, Representative Yarmouth, is there enough time? I mean, that, that's one thing we can agree on, all of us. The clock is ticking, and there's a fine point if it will stop. So is there enough time to pass an agreement with both the Senate and the House? Well, barely enough time, and that's why I'm one of those who believes that uh, the president ought to invoke the 14th Amendment <laughs> and just raise the debt ceiling himself. You know, the, the phony thing about this entire argument is that virtually every Republican, all but six in the House of Representatives, voted for a budget that adds over $6 trillion to the national debt. We have a budget process. They could have imposed these cuts in their budget. They didn't try to do that, and and they all voted to raise the national debt, uh, the debt ceiling just like we've done 74 times in the, in the last 40 years. So uh, this is a politically manufactured crisis. We don't need to be here. And I'm one of those who believes that the president can solve it very quickly. Okay, but you and uh, independent Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders uh, believe that that invocation of the 14th Amendment should be used here. What about the effect overall, if that were done or not, on the 2012 voting for the House? Well, you know, I think actually if the president were to use the, the, the 14th Amendment that it would be long forgotten by the time the presidential campaign rolls around. I think the American people want this crisis solved, ended. They want stability. So do the markets. So do American businessmen and women. Uh, I think that would resolve it very quickly. And, and again, I think the president probably would win a claim for being decisive. What he's doing now, uh, to me, is basically just trying to find the path of least resistance. And there is considerable resistance to almost anything that could would come to the Congress. All right, Democratic uh, Congressman John Yarmouth of Kentucky, thanks so much and put your track shoes on. Thanks for joining <laughs> right. us. Nice to be with you, Alex. Thank you. <laughs> In our next hour, we're going to have a live interview